Hello, everyone, and thank you very much for being here today with us. I'd like to introduce you to Yas, co-founder here at Nextcloud, to say a few words. Welcome, everybody, to the Nextcloud conference. We're super happy to have you all here. This is our yearly developer get-together, where we all work together to make Nextcloud even better. And of course, Nextcloud is all of you. It wouldn't be possible without you. Together, we are making, well, the world a better place. And so this year, like last year, we have a theme again for the conference. And the theme is trust, transparency, together. So in this, I think, represents who and what we are. As a community, we are built around the concept of trust and transparency, working together to help people regain control over their data. Now, we have some awesome keynotes this year that really fit very well with the theme. First, we have Simon Phipps, who brings a deep understanding of open source and digital rights. He has been one of the people who has defined the term open source and what it means, so I'm looking forward to his talk. I'm also really looking forward to hear from Catherine Fritz. She works at the intersection of technology and sustainability, advocating for a just and green internet at the Green Web Foundation. And last but not least, we have Max Rems here, who is a leading figure in the legal fight for privacy in Europe, and he's going to talk about the transatlantic data privacy framework. Now, these three speakers align perfectly with our theme of trust, transparency, together. Like them, we believe that as software developers, we have a responsibility to help make the world a better place. And as a community, we can only do that when we work together. Now, at Nextcloud, we take this responsibility serious, and we put together a video that explains what we believe in. We believe privacy is a fundamental human right and everybody should have access to secure communication free from surveillance. We are building decentralized products as an alternative to centralized platforms. People can choose what they want and where they want it. We believe in open source and open standards. Open source is the only way for users to trust their devices. We value sustainability, protecting people, society and the environment. We believe accessibility is a fundamental human right and technology should be accessible to everyone. The time of our users is very important to us. That's why we do our best to make Nextcloud easy to use. We foster diversity from innovation to transparency and collaboration. Working with our communities and supporting marginalized people leads to a better result. IT and modern organizations face the challenges. You must benefit from modern collaboration tools to allow remote work, and of course you want to use the opportunities of data flowing through your organization. But at the same time, there are questions about compliance, avoiding data leaks, corporate espionage, data sovereignty, and the AI makes it all worse. So you're settled with problems like shadow IT, people using various tools, even fragmentation in IT, different tools being used between different departments, and the risk of data leak, of course, explodes from all of this. So how can you deliver on user expectations without leaking data? Well, the answer is not with big tech. We don't want to live in a world where five big companies are controlling all collaboration. So we at Nextcloud, we build a solution for you. And our solution is Nextcloud Hub. We have built the most advanced collaboration platform in existence that has all the key features you need to facilitate collaboration in your organization and is 100% open source and can run 100% on-prem on your own server or in a data center that you trust. Now, let's talk about where we are today with Nextcloud. It's an incredible tool for people to be productive while protecting data and privacy. For example, it's being used by organizations like Amnesty International to protect sensitive data for activists and journalists, even in less than friendly places. It's also used by millions of pupils and students all over the world to do home learning, like at the universities in France or at the schools in Berlin. Now, it's used by governments to protect their digital sovereignty, and it's used by tech enthusiasts all over the world, like in the global south, as well as in advanced economies where people are using Nextcloud to put together all kinds of important tools for them, their family, or maybe local charities. And it is, of course, used by thousands of companies and organizations all over the world to enable remote work or to just empower people to collaborate efficiently while at the same time protecting their data from getting leaked to third parties. So we've been really successful at all of this. There are tens of millions of Nexus users out there, and we're very proud of that. But 
I want to talk about the future. Let's talk about the next release. And today, we're of course launching Hub6. So I know you all have high expectations, and we intend to deliver on that. As you all know, we're working together online these days. People work from home more often. It's important to be productive, but it's also important to take care of yourself. And Nextcloud should support you in that. So for this release, our goal was to reduce the amount of brain cells that is needed by Nextcloud so you can focus your energy on the things that really matter to you, to get things done. So that's why we have a theme again. And this theme is a healthy meeting culture. We listen to your feedback. People always come to us, they tell us what we should approve in various areas of Nextcloud. They say, hey, can you make it easier to use? Save us more time, make it faster, or add some key features that help people get work done. And this is what we did. And that's why we are going to focus on, as I said, a healthy meeting culture. Now, we will go over seven major areas of improvement all over Nextcloud, from files, talk, groupware, and office, to AI, various developer integrations, as well as, of course, the healthy meeting culture. So let me introduce Brent for the next improvements in Hub6. Thank you, Yos. I'd love to introduce you to the first improvements in Nextcloud Hub 6, those in Nextcloud Files. Files is at the core of Nextcloud Hub, allowing you to access and share files as well. As always, we improve both of these functions in this release. As Yoss mentioned, our goal is to reduce the cognitive load that you have when using Nextcloud. For that, we looked at the flow of tasks that are common for our users. For example, you're often in a chat and want to share a picture or a document with friends, or perhaps attach a file to an email. When you want to share a document in a chat, the first step is always to select a file. Well, we improved that file selection dialog for you. It now remembers your last location and also the sorting order that you prefer. It also has your favorites on the left with the recent files as well to make it easier for you to browse your favorite files. That way, you can navigate your files much faster than before as well. Second, we turned our attention to sharing. How often do you share documents or photos with a colleague, maybe a customer or a friend? We heard your feedback, including from millions of users at Magenta Cloud, of which improvements you'd like to see in our sharing flow. Until now, creating a share link was a matter of clicking the plus. And those changes were then presented in a drop-down menu. But when you made a change, that menu went away. Instead of that menu going away each time you make a change to settings, you can now set an expiration date, a password, or a note to that recipient all at once, and then apply those changes in one go. That way, the updates are all done at the same time for you. When sharing with another Nextcloud user, you first get to choose Settings like, for instance, a note or an expiration date before you share that file. This way, it's easier to change multiple settings all at once. And of course, you can still change settings after you've shared a file, like modifying access permissions, for instance. With these changes, we made it a little easier for you to share documents. And we look forward to your insights and your feedback again so that we can continue those improvements. Nextcloud Files already tracks older versions of files for you. This is handy for maybe you'd like to look at an older version, or maybe you made a mistake you'd like to refer back to. Our versioning feature is smart, keeping less versions over time. But we recently made it possible for you to name versions, and those will stay forever if you so choose. While many users appreciate this, we heard even more of your feedback and have made two additional improvements. The first change is we added the ability to open earlier versions just by clicking on them. There's no need to download them anymore, as was previously the way. We also made it possible to compare two versions side by side. That way, you can easily spot the differences between the two. Besides our web interface, we also have many users using the mobile clients of Nextcloud and also the desktop client. This makes it easier to access files on the go, even when you don't have an internet connection available. As always, our clients have improved over the last release. The mobile apps now make it easier to access other Nextcloud apps that you have installed as well, such as the Notes app or the Talk app. Photo editing is also now available on Android and also iOS, so you can perfect your images before you send them. 
Also on iOS and Android, we now show you your photographs on a map. That way you can know where your photos were taken. We made even more changes across these mobile clients as well. We boosted the upload speed to S3 storage with improved multi-part uploads. And that resulted in a 10 times faster file transfer. We now also offer hardware key support for our end-to-end -end encryption. Plus, we've implemented auto-locking for our office files on the desktop. And that's just the start. We also made many performance improvements as well, as is true with every release. These help the environment by decreasing the power requirements and also the network traffic for your Nextcloud servers. And of course, it gives you a better and faster user experience as well. It all starts when you log in. With these improvements, the login page now loads faster. Then the dashboard. We developed an API, which is a lot more efficient, so your dashboard loads much faster as well. With files, we made a number of improvements, especially in loading large folders. With about 15 to 20% improvement in more efficient queries and smarter checking of sharing permissions, giving us around another 30%. We also did several improvements for faster group folders. So if you have large folders, well, the handling of ACLs is more efficient now. And there's some caching in the background to speed things up for you. Expect about 50 to 70% faster loading times of these group folders. In talk, we made scrolling through your conversations much faster. Those are now cached in the browser, giving you almost near access to the conversations you like to dive into. And of course, there are many more improvements to Nextcloud Hub. In summary, in Nextcloud Hub 6, we focused on commonly used features, improving the sharing, file versioning, and adding photo editing to our mobile clients. We look forward to hear what you think of these changes and look forward to your feedback as well. I'd like to introduce Niha to join us on stage now. Niha? Thank you, Brent. And I'm here to talk about all the improvements in Nextcloud Talk. Nextcloud Talk streamlines team communication, offering chat, video calls, recording capabilities, and real-time document collaboration. It simplifies breakout discussion in your meetings and enables seamless webinar organization, a modern solution for all your communication needs. We have all had a moment where we are deeply involved in creating a project plan, working on a paper, or developing technical designs only to be interrupted and lose our focus. Nextcloud Talk offers new features that help you to keep your focus intact. For example, messages like who joined the conversation and who left the conversation are now condensed into one single message so that your chat messages are not flooded with messages like who joined and left. And if you find a message that feels important for you, but you don't have enough headspace to deal with it right now, you cannot decide to snooze it, and you will get a notification about this message again later. As GIFs can be a little overwhelming, we also added a button to disable them so that you can find out some of those messages that are interesting for you. Well, in this case, I don't think there is any important message for me. If you are new to a team, or interested in joining one of the ongoing discussions in talk, you can now browse and discover existing open conversations more easily, allowing you to find that off-topic chat that everyone has been giggling about lately. Looking to check on what's new in the morning? With the ability to filter your conversations quickly for unread messages, or to sort your messages by prioritizing mentions in conversations, you can now quickly see new messages for you without spending time scrolling through the list. Group meeting and conversations can be a great source of creativity. But let's face it, very long meetings aren't always very productive. And for that, Nextcloud Talk Now sends a notification at a one hour mark, gently suggesting you that maybe it's time to wrap up and move to the next task. 
you all appreciate when every given gets a chance to speak in a meeting that's why next cloud talk displays the speaking duration for each participants it is a helpful feature to better understand and balance your team interactions staying on top of our task is important for all of us next cloud talk offers the option to enable a bot that tracks all your to do items during a call any task noted and the bot confirms its action with a thumbs up emoji after the meeting is done now you will get a call summary the call summary shows who attended the call and how long the call lasted it will also show all the to do items that were noted down during the meeting it is a straightforward way to review what was discussed and what needs to be done next We have made numerous improvements to enhance your experience in Nextcloud Talk. For instance, Talk Now features webhook support, streamlining the integrations of third-party tools and the bot, like the one I mentioned earlier in my slide. To give your messages visually more attention, we have added formatting capabilities to Talk. Talk messages using Markdown. Nextcloud Talk is available on mobile platforms such as Android and iOS making it easy to stay in touch and collaborate with your colleagues while you are away from your desk. Nextcloud Talk is also available as a desktop application. It offers a seamless experience for your calls and chats whether you are using Linux, Mac or Windows. And last but not least, we have improved our Android auto support. Now you can safely receive and respond to your messages while driving all through voice control. So that wraps all the improvement in Nextcloud Talk. Being a Nextcloud Talk user over the year, my personal favorite features are call summary, helping me to create tasks quickly from meeting, call duration for better planning and to just ensure that I'm not spending more than 1 hour in meeting and I'm someone who never want to miss any conversation around Nextcloud. So I love the new feature to find all the open conversations easily. And I hope you also like all the new features that we've added to Nextcloud Talk. We await for your positive feedback. And for the next improvement, I would like to ask my colleague Fidoz to come on stage. So thank you Neha for the wonderful introduction. And now I will be talking about my favorite part of Nextcloud which is Nextcloud Grooveware. Nextcloud Grooveware includes project management apps like calendar, mail and contact. It is the cornerstone of your productivity and the new added feature help you better to automate your task and coordinate your projects in the best way possible. The first tool of Nextcloud Grooveware, Nextcloud Calendar, where you manage all of your appointments. So you can see the task from the task app and from Kanban app, you see your cards along with the deadlines. In our modern work culture, remote meeting has become a must. And with our new improvements, arranging and managing a remote session has been a lot easier with one motion integration between talk and calendar app. So for arranging a meeting, you need just one click. In one click, the talk room will be created with the calendar event name and now also with the description. Secondly, all of the attendees will be added to the room automatically and everyone will be able to join the link in the location of the invitation or calendar item. The second most important part of Nextcloud Groupware is Nextcloud Mail, which is a complete, well-integrated mail app with powerful features like AI priority box, support for multiple accounts, shared mailbox, and many, many more. There have been some small but useful improvements, which includes user warning for Gota depletion and better handling spam and trash folder. Next, our easy-to-use Kanban app. It has also been improved a lot with the previous release. For example, real-time editing, rich text card, support for the smart speaker. So now we can utilize Nextcloud Tech, our easy-to-use Kanban tool. For example, when you are in a meeting or working in a document and an interesting idea come to your mind, create a deck card instantly and work with it later on. So now it's super fun. In short, all of these new improvements make your life easier and help you to manage your projects in a more efficient way. If you ask me about my favorite, 
Well, as a salesperson, I have to arrange customer meetings and product presentations every day. So I would say talk and calendar integration is definitely a time saver for me. With that, I would like to invite Fabrice for the further improvements. Thank you, Fabrice. Thank you. So I'm going to cover all the Hub 6 improvements uh, with regard to our Office stack in this section. This includes Nextcloud Collectives, Nextcloud Tables, and also Nextcloud Office. So let's start with Nextcloud Collectives. This app enables knowledge management in Nextcloud Hub, making it easy to share and find documentation in your organization. For this release, we made a number of improvements. In Collectives, you can find documentation in a few ways. Just use search in Nextcloud and go directly to that page. But when you are onboarding on a new task, you probably want more of an overview of all the documentation first. So we've created this nice landing page. It shows you all the recently changed pages, all the collaborators, and general information about the knowledge base you are in. If you are managing a section in the documentation, you will be happy to know that adding or removing members and groups can now be done easily from the knowledge base interface. And ever deleted a page by accident? You can now easily get them back from the trash bin. Last but not least, both in collectives and text and all through Nextcloud Hub, we now support the creation of diagrams. We use Mermaid as a standard mutation method in Markdown, which makes it easy to create those complicated diagrams. Earlier this year, we introduced the Smart Picker. It's a way to quickly insert content into a chat, document, a task, an email, all across Hub. And new Smart Pickers regularly appear on our App Store. And we wanted to highlight a few. Do you sometimes forget all these shortcuts or markdown codes for creating bold italics or headings? Well, try the formatting picker. All your formatting joys are just one slash away. And sometimes you have a quick idea you want to share or a thought you need to capture. With the new sketch picker, you can sketch your idea, draw on pictures, and annotate images. All right, now let's focus on something else. Let's turn the focus that many software companies are forcing their users to the cloud to increase control and create a vendor lock-in. And this includes Microsoft SharePoint, because they are discontinuing their on-premises option. Users are seeking for a more reliable and flexible alternative, and they prefer this solution to be open source and to be able to deploy this on-premise. Basically, a solution that you can rule without changing the rules on you. Enter Nextcloud Tables. Nextcloud Tables is a key component to handle your structured data. With it, you can manage, for example, an employee database or a customer database, or you can do your health tracking, or you can manage your vacation request process. For this release, we made some solid improvement that makes tables even more powerful. Take the example of the managing the vacation request. You have different stakeholders from employee to manager and HR, and they all have their distinct needs for what they should see. This release caters to these diverse requirements with full support for customizable views and offering advanced filtering features. And these views can be selectively shared, allowing tailored access rights to different individuals or groups. You can share all of these views with the Smart Picker across all of Hub. And the use of Picker proves to be very helpful and quick in conversations, or when you want to expand that company documentation with those data views. Such a table inserted with Smart Picker is interactive. You can search for items and scroll in the table. Also, we introduce the ability to reference resources in Nextcloud tables. These resources can be users, files, notes, GitHub issues, OpenStreetMap locations, YouTube videos, chat rooms, documentation, calendars, or anything else you can search for in Nextcloud, including other tables and views. These features bring your work process to a new level and effectively making Nextcloud table a no-code platform. Imagine simplifying a vacation process where team members monitor their own requests and managers oversee pending vacation requests, and HR can view all of the approved leaves, all without writing a single line of code. 
At the moment, we are doing several projects with customers, including the city of Cologne and the government of the German state Schleswig-Holstein, to replace SharePoint with Nextcloud Hub and Nextcloud Tables. If you're considering a migration and want a solution that prioritizes flexibility and control, feel free to reach out to us. So, now let's talk about Nextcloud Office, the Nextcloud app where you edit your documents, spreadsheets, and presentations. There has been improvements all over Nextcloud Office, but I will highlight six features. Let's start with the first feature. Do you need to pick a beautiful font? We now show you a preview of fonts in the drop-down menu, making the selection of fonts easier. Sometimes you're creating a small text box. And in Hub 6, you can have precise control over the flow of your text. Are you a keyboard warrior? Well, in this release, you can hold the Alt or the Command key to easily see what buttons to press to open certain menu items or execute actions. If you give a lot of presentations and you are one of those people who maintain a big presentation file, you will like this Ford feature. In this release, you can now hide and show slides in a presentation using the right-click menu. Now for the fifth feature. Do you use change tracking a lot? I do, and I'm glad it receives some attention. In numbered list, we now show you the actual and the original numbers, so you know exactly what changed in your numbered list. And last, but not least, if you're a fan of using tables in your presentations, I have good news. You can now create and modify table styles in presentations and in drawings, and even share these styles via templates. Besides these features, we work with our technology partner Collabra to make Nextcloud Office faster and reduce resource and network usage. This shows, for example, in loading comments in spreadsheets, which is twice as fast, and in 35% faster loading of heavy graphical presentations. So here you have it all the improvement for our Office stack and Hub 6. And the thing I'm really looking forward to is the expanded use of Nextcloud tables. And I can't wait to see how organizations are going to use this powerful Nextcloud app. So for the next section, an area of improvement, I would like to invite Brent on stage. There are a lot of developments around AI lately. AI has a ton of potential to make our lives easier helping us with repetitive tasks that otherwise waste our energy and our time. Unfortunately, there are also many issues with artificial intelligence. Imagine, for instance, your BMW and you're working on your latest car model. Well, perhaps not long after, your competitor asks some AI platform for assistance. And the AI, perhaps trained on your data unknowingly, tells them exactly what you're up to. This is currently happening. And is why organizations like Samsung and Goldman Sachs, for instance, forbid the use of ChatGPT by their employees. Companies like Twitter and Zoom have silently changed their terms of service recently, allowing for such uses of training on your data. Are you aware of these changes as they happen? Perhaps others like Microsoft or Google might also make those changes as well. There are other notable issues with AI, like training data bias and the massive carbon footprint as well that we need to consider. At Nextcloud, we want to offer AI that makes your life easier, but we also want to be transparent about all of the downsides. Therefore, we created our ethical AI rating system, and it helps you decide which AI features are right for you. We give each AI integration a rating from red all the way to green. This is based on three factors that address some key concerns that we have with artificial intelligence. First is the software open source. That allows you to adapt the training, find some biases and repair them to your liking, or optimize its energy use. Second is the training model freely available. That allows you to run it wherever you want, including on your own data center, so that your data doesn't leak anywhere. Third is the training data freely available. That way you can look for biases and other issues and retrain the model if you'd like. We not only provide transparency with our AI integrations, but also choice. We've taken a different approach from others and want you to have the choice between various AI options. So we worked hard to ensure that for all features like translations, text processing, or dictation, for instance, we offer multiple options 
and those include on-premises and third-party implementations. In this way, Nextcloud already makes it possible to use remote AI services such as ChatGPT, DeepL, and also DALI. But our tools are always focused on building and providing true open source and local AI options, which is in sync with our values and our ethical AI rating system we just visited. Let's quickly have a look at some of the AI features in Nextcloud that already run locally and 100% open source. For example, we have face and object recognition, and that doesn't send your photos to third parties. Our smart inbox in mail, for instance, is trained on your data and on your server. Call transcripts as well are generated completely without data leaks. All that said, earlier this year, we did promise to offer an alternative to remote large language model services like ChatGPT for a truly on-premise option. So today I'm excited to announce for the very first time there's an AI assistant fully running on your server, and it's integrated into Nextcloud Hub 6. It's a unique offering in our industry, and it's based on a large language model. It's fully open source and also runs on your premises, so no data is sent to third parties. We want you to be able to find your Nextcloud assistant wherever you need it. Therefore, you can find it at the top right of Nextcloud Hub. When you click there, you can ask the assistant to do something for you. For example, you can ask it to generate a headline for some text that you've written. You can then copy those results to your clipboard and paste them anywhere you'd like. Now, this works everywhere in Nextcloud Hub, but there are a few extra special places that we've integrated the Nextcloud Assistant for you in special ways. First, while you're writing in certain documents. While selecting a piece of text, the special icon on the right is your Nextcloud Assistant and will present you with the Assistant. You can then ask the Assistant to summarize or reformulate your text or present a headline for you, for instance. You can then insert the results if you're happy. We also integrated the Assistant in Nextcloud Mail. It summarizes those long-winded threads that we've all seen. And of course, the Assistant can also help you write and answer email. It can generate email content for you. It can insert that content and generates it directly in your emails. Now, we also want you to be able to use this feature in your conversations. The Assistant can already be used to translate your chat messages. It can also write text for you or generate images into your chat. That said, in the next few weeks, we want to make it possible for the Assistant to be able to answer questions and provide suggestions for you in Nextcloud Talk as well. For instance, you can ask the Assistant to help you plan, let's say, your next trade show event. And directly in the chat, you can have those results be available to you and your colleagues. For Nextcloud-wide AI, we're also working on a more chat-like interface. And in the coming weeks, we will see those. While we are embracing the power of AI, we want to make sure that you stay in control at all times. This is in the DNA of Nextcloud to provide you with choice, but also transparency. While our competitors are introducing AI by simply sending your data to third-party services such as OpenAI, we took a different path. This makes us absolutely unique in the industry to provide you with a real private AI, your only private AI. So today, there is one collaboration platform that gives you the full power of a well-integrated AI without sending your data to third parties. This is Nextcloud Hub. And while our big tech competition has theirs in beta, and sometimes not even that, the Nextcloud Assistant is production ready today, and more improvements are coming in the next months. Let's take a look at a video that explores the day in the life of using the Nextcloud Assistant. Meet Christine, a project manager whose curiosity in AI-driven collaboration has led her to explore various articles on the subject. She reads that the use of AI can be risky, especially when handling sensitive company and customer data. But with Nextcloud Hub, those hindrances are no longer a concern for her. 
She knows that all data is strictly handled on the Nextcloud server and is not leaking or being used by another company to train their AI platforms. Let's see how these features play out in Christine's daily work. Yesterday, Christine received an email from Margot, which included a detailed document outlining observations and metrics of quality issues within the company. In that same email, Margot asks Christine to create an outline for a project aimed at addressing these challenges and to discuss this project approach in a call the next day. Her team also received that mail from Margot and members sent in suggestions. Really great to see that many ideas, but the mail thread is far too lengthy to read. Christine definitely wants to use the suggestions from her team. She asks the assistant to compile and summarize these insights from her team. Then she goes back to the document from her manager. Christine wants to tap into the collective brain power of her team and the AI, and with the summarized insights in hand, Christine directs the assistant to create a project outline. The on-premises AI capabilities of Nextcloud Hub enable her to craft an efficient plan for Margot. The assistant completes the project outline, and Christine shares it in a Nextcloud talk room with her manager. Christine asks Margot if she can record it so she can have the transcript of the conversation to share with her team. An engaging meeting ensues. After the conversation, the call summary bot summarizes the meeting and shares tasks from the conversation. Christine incorporates this task list and the transcript of the conversation into the project outline for her and her team. After the meeting, Christine notices that a couple of tasks need to be delegated to Zarina from the German team. She selects the whole task list and uses Nextcloud Translate to get a German version. Now this can easily be put in a task for our German team, directly from text. Nextcloud Hub's built-in AI capabilities helped Christine to tackle this challenge within her organization much more quickly and efficiently as otherwise would have been possible. And she did not have to worry about any of this data leaking to a third party, neither the translation, nor the new project plan, nor the content of the call transcript that was created by AI. Christine feels in control and she stays informed without feeling overwhelmed. Nextcloud Hub helps Christine to digest key information for this meeting and other tasks and projects. Explore how Nextcloud Hub can help you redefine your organization's collaboration, offering trustworthy AI for smart productivity and robust security. I would like to invite Yas back to the stage. Thank you, Brent. All right. So. I would like to talk about the six major areas of improvement, the integrations in Nextcloud and our developer technology. Now, Nextcloud Hub is a powerful application platform. It's already closely integrating with tons of third-party applications and tools. And with this release, we are introducing two new integrations. The first of those is Slack, which you probably all know is a widely used chat platform. And the integration makes it very easy to send files into a Slack room directly from Nextcloud files. The second integration we're introducing is Paxip. And Paxip is a leading provider of secure video technology and is used in highly sensitive environments, which is why they have on-premise as well as various cloud solutions for video calls. Now, the integration with Paxip allows users to schedule, join, and manage Paxip meetings without even having to leave the Nextcloud platform. Now, most organizations are using a number of different tools and platforms, including Nextcloud Hub and indeed maybe Slack or Paxip or other tools. But quite a lot of teams are working specifically with Microsoft products. And so to help organizations who work in a Microsoft environment, we offer a variety of integrations together with our partner Sendent. Now, I want to emphasize first the value of the Outlook add-in. And the Outlook add-in is designed to automatically upload email attachments so that you can send files with really big file sizes to other people without having to worry that you know, the mail server will deny them. And you can also simply avoid your Outlook server blowing up in size due to all the big emails that are getting sent back and forth. It also offers some other advantages, like an easy way to share files that are already on Nextcloud, as well as a calendar integration where when you create a meeting, you can automatically add a talk room to this meeting when you set up the appointment. So that's, of course, ideal for remote meetings. Now, an improved version of the add-in will bring support for macOS, as well as the Outlook web interface. 
we're also working on another component of a Microsoft environment, which is calendar and contacts. You can use a Nextcloud Microsoft Exchange connector to sync calendars and contacts between Nextcloud and Outlook and the other way around. So any changes get synced and users can have a seamless experience working either on the desktop or with Nextcloud in the browser. We also offer integration with Microsoft Teams. This integration makes it easy to share files from a Nextcloud Teams into a conversation. We have integration with SharePoint, Active Directory, Microsoft Office, and a whole bunch of other Microsoft tools. So with these integrations, the use of Nextcloud in a Microsoft environment has become easier than ever, and we are looking forward to your feedback. Now I'd like to switch to a more technical subject, and bear with me, because this will be interesting. So first, let's talk about the upcoming bots invasion. So task switching is slow and painful. Basically, you're wasting time when you're trying to look for something in another application, switching to another one, switching to another one again, trying to find where a notification came from, and so on. And we want to bring you as much content in one place, so you don't have to log into these various tools and look for what your, you know, what gave you a notification just now. Now, a powerful way to connect different services into one is actually chatbots. Chatbots can take information from a monitoring service or an issue tracker and bring it all in one chat room. You can even interact two ways, where you can initiate actions in other platforms from within one chat room. So such bots are usually written around webhook support, which is a way to communicate between different services. And with this release, Talk supports writing bots using webhooks, which opens the door for a much wider variety of chat integration between Nextcloud and other applications. Now, the call summary feature we have shown before, and this is implemented as such an extra talk bot. There's also an example welcome bot, which was written in Golang that you can try out, but it is open source, of course, and you can use it as a basis for building your own bots in Golang. Now, of course, we're looking forward to see the bots you will write. You can find the documentation on our developer portal on excel.com slash developer. Now, these changes to bots are actually just one area where we improved our external API and made it easy to build apps for Nextcloud. This API, the Open Collaboration Services, was improved, and all our APIs are now fully documented using OpenAPI. This allows us to do things like develop SDKs, software development kits, that makes it even easier to write high-level capabilities for talking from your application to a Nextcloud server. And of course, besides these four languages, other languages are also supported. Now, we built the OCR Viewer app to make it super easy to experiment with these APIs. You can browse the API, you can try out the request with various parameters and immediately see the results right there in the web interface. And it even then helps you next to find out what code you need to execute that request in various languages. So you can then just copy paste the code in your app whether you're writing in Python, Rust, Ruby, Objective-C, Camel, Rust, whatever you like. So if you are a developer who is currently developing an Exot app and want to add open API support, I have good news for you because we have made a very nice tutorial that helps you document your API of your app also with open API. So this way, a third-party developer who is, for example, building a mobile app can then talk from the mobile app very easily using you know, the OCS viewer to see what API calls are available and, and how to implement them in the code just by copy-pasting. They can then talk to your server app and this way make the data available on mobile devices or maybe talk from another server app to your server app and so on. So we're introducing more tutorials for app developers starting with four new app tutorials for building a more complicated app, automated testing, troubleshooting, bug fixing, and more. So with all these improvements, it's super easy for developers to build apps for Nextcloud, to document it, and then make it possible for third-party people who are developing, say, a mobile app or a completely different server app to talk to the Nextcloud server and interact in the Nextcloud ecosystem. So that's good but I want to talk for a second about another step. Because building an Nextcloud app on top of our platform is something you currently do with PHP. Now, PHP is a very popular language. It scales very well, and as an app developer, you have direct access to the core of Nextcloud. You can do whatever you need to do. Get data from a table, put it in another table. You can do whatever you need to do. 
but the question that maybe comes up is, okay, PHP is popular, but not everybody wants to write in that. Maybe you have another language that is your favorite. Maybe you want to write an app in Golang or Ruby or Python. And we think this should be possible. So today I can announce that we make it possible to build Nextcloud server apps in your favorite language. These apps will be independent from the Nextcloud core. Instead, they're interacting through the powerful OCS API. So effectively, we are expanding Nextcloud into a microservices architecture. And this gives a number of benefits. First, bugs in such an app cannot cause problems for other apps or the rest of Nextcloud. And with more distance between Nextcloud and the application, we can maintain a stable API for you to develop against for many years. For somebody who's running a Nextcloud server, and especially a big one with thousands or millions of users even, it becomes easier, thanks to this framework, to distribute compute resources. For example, you could create a separate node in the server network that's running Nextcloud with special hardware for heavy AI operations. And last but not least, because we can control what data apps have access to, we can provide better security for big Nextcloud instances that are running a whole bunch of apps. So the team on our side that has developed these APIs and integrations has built two example Hello World apps. First, they integrate in the files menu and can process files like turning a video into a GIF or resizing files using an AI. These examples are built with Python, but of course you can build apps in any language you like. So this new server app development kit is using the open collaboration sources, REST API to talk to the server, is using Docker for app distribution, and honestly for all the other technical details you should talk to our developers, which you can of course do at our conference. Now, this doesn't immediately replace the existing way of developing apps, but it is designed to empower people who want to use a different programming language or who need some of the other advantages like the security advantages or the ability to distribute some of the compute to a separate node on the network. There will be a workshop at the conference later today where you can learn more about this. And of course, for the people online, we will be releasing documentation and other information. All of the code, as always, is in GitHub. Now, you can get started on nextcloudcom slash developers, and I'm looking forward to the apps that you are going to build. So, uh, some big news for developers here. Um, let me quickly summarize it so you can keep it all together. Uh, first, of course, are integrations with third-party apps like Slack, as well as the Microsoft platform that gotten some improvements. We have improvements to our API that make it easy to integrate third-party applications into the Nextcloud ecosystem. And of course, last but absolutely not least, the big announcement, which is the ability to build Nextcloud apps in any language you want. We are seriously looking forward to the amazing apps that our community will build the coming months. Next, I want to ask Nemisha from our design team to the States to talk about what's next in Hub6. All right. As we said at the beginning, we worked on this release with the aim of helping organizations who use Nextcloud have a healthier meeting culture. With remote working, it can be a bit tough to focus, get work done without interruptions, and have a healthy work-life balance. And at Nextcloud, we want to help you mitigate some of these difficulties. So let's take a look at some of the features we have in Nextcloud that help you manage exactly that. Nextcloud is designed to help you maintain focus. You can start your day off with the dashboard. The dashboard gives you maybe a summary of all the things that you need to work on during the day. You can have your recommended files, your up upcoming events, some mails that are important. And what's more, you can always customize it to make sure that the dashboard stays relevant to you. You can also configure your notifications. Notifications are great, but when you want to get some deep work done, they can get a bit distracting. And that's why, from your settings, you can decide exactly when and how you want to receive notifications. You can get push notifications, you can get them via email, or you can just get a daily activity summary once a day. For each chat room in Nextcloud Talk, you can also decide to mute notifications. So if there's a group chat that's maybe not super relevant to you, you can always mute notifications so you're not getting pinged all the time. And to be mindful about your colleagues, you can always send silent messages, or you can start calls in group chats silently without ringing everyone's phones. Of course, you can also set a status. I have a status set right now, actually. And if you're on Do Not Disturb, it's great to mute all your notifications and get some focused work done. And what's more, 
if you're in a meeting or in a call, Nextcloud automatically lets your colleagues know that maybe you're busy at this point. And even if notifications are enabled, you can hop on over to your settings and set your working hours to align with your availability so that you're not disturbed outside of your working hours. And if you enable do not disturb outside of these hours, your colleague who's on the other side of the world won't give you a ping in the middle of the night. They'll send you a message, but you can check it out in the morning. Talk, in particular, has a whole bunch of features to help you work better remotely. You have read receipts, so you know if your colleagues have read your message. You have typing indicators to see who's typing at the moment. And you also have a list of the current active participants in that group chat. And this gives you a great picture of who's engaged and who's away from the keyboard at the moment. You can get opinions with a quick poll. You can save time and not do a back and forth with a whole bunch of people and just create a poll to get everyone's opinions with just a few clicks. And even within a call, you can make sure that everyone gets their say by checking out the individual participant speaking times, as Neha mentioned before. And at the end of this call, you have the amazing call summary bot, which gives you a nice list of all the tasks that need to be done after the call. If the conversation has too many people, you can break them off using the breakout rooms into smaller groups of maybe a more manageable number of people. And instead, if you want to talk one-on-one -on -one from anywhere in Nextcloud, you can just click on the avatar of whomever you want to talk to, and then you can start a chat, you can send an email, and so much more. And what about the endless emails back and forth when you want to ask people if you're available for a meeting? Well, you don't have to do all of that. You can just configure your own appointment and availability, and your colleague can hop on over to your uh, profile and set a time that works for the both of you. And if that's not your thing, you can always check the free busy view in your calendar. Much of Nextcloud is designed to make you do things as fast as possible and make life easier, saving you time. So from an email, you can create a calendar event. You can create a task. From a talk message, you can also create a task, or you can create a deck card. And now with the Smart Picker, you can insert any resource anywhere in Nextcloud super, super fast. And with all of these tasks throughout your day, it can be a little bit overwhelming. And that's why with this release, we're really happy to announce that we're helping you hopefully mitigate that with setting reminders. So this is a great way to snooze various resources so you can deal with them later. And these are scattered all across different Nextcloud apps. For example, in Files, you, have, you can just go to the three-dot menu, select Set Reminder, and then you'll be able to deal with this file when you actually need to deal with it, saving you the interruption right now. It's also available in Talk. Maybe a colleague sent you a message that they need something by Tuesday morning, and you can set a reminder to remind you only on Monday morning, so you don't have to worry about it until then. And of course, it's also there in mail. You can snooze emails and come back to them later and deal with them at your own time. With these setting reminders, we hope that we can help you stay on track and stay focused throughout your workday. And at Nextcloud, we just want to save you time and effort. So we have lots of features to help you do that, like our recommended files, our recommended sharees, and our related resources. Reducing complexity and making things simple is such a core part of our design philosophy at Nextcloud. And in all of this, your data stays right with you. Your photos, notes, calendar, contacts, everything stays with you where it belongs, and you can be sure that no AI is going to be trained on all of this. Let's see all these improvements in a little video. Do long meetings feel like a waste of time, especially when one colleague is talking almost constantly? Do you get stressed from all the calls and chat messages coming in? Do work and private life blur into each other? These days, we are often working hybrid or remote, so a healthy meeting culture is more important than ever. Nextcloud can help with this. Nextcloud Talk makes it easier to be mindful of the attention of other people. You can, for example, send a chat message that won't cause everybody to get notified. You can even start a call without ringing everyone's phone. If you then have to pull in others, you could ring them specifically. During the meeting, talk shows you how long everybody has been talking. Now you can ensure everybody has a chance to share their opinion. If there are to-do items, you can put them in the chat with to-do or task in front. The talk bot will record them. At the one hour mark, talk gives you a small notification. Perhaps time to end the call? 
After the call, you'll get a short call report, including the tasks you identified. That helps you keep track of the meetings. Less notifications is nice, of course. You can disable notifications on a chat room, but outside of work hours, you might prefer not to get any notifications at all. That is easy. Configure your work hours and enable the automatic Do Not Disturb feature. Sometimes you do want to get notified, just not right now. You can set a reminder on a chat message so you can deal with it later. Just pick one of the proposed times or set your own. We thought this feature was so useful, we also made it possible to set a reminder on a file and snooze emails. That way, you can stay focused on the task at hand. Say goodbye to endless meetings and hello to efficient collaboration. Create a more productive, respectful, and healthy meeting culture with NextCloud Talk. Visit our website and follow us on social media to stay updated on the latest features and improvements. And to wrap it up, I want to ask Kios back onto the stage. So, this wraps up the launch of Nexon Hub 6. And as I said in the beginning, high expectations, but I think we delivered on this. Nextcloud will help you maintain a healthy meeting culture in your organization. You can now develop apps in any language you like. And we made major improvements to Nextcloud tables and our Microsoft integrations to help especially governments maintain their digital sovereignty. And last but not least, of course, we're introducing the Nextcloud Assistant. And this 100% open source, on-premises technology will make Nextcloud the first and only in the industry that gives you AI without using your data, leaking, or having it used for training other AIs. Now, Nextcloud Hub, with these changes, has become the most advanced collaboration platform out there. And in this release, we made it even better and more advanced. Now, this Nextcloud work for everyone. It is designed to work from home users, for business users, for government agencies to protect the digital sovereignty, for schools to help students teach remote or work together on projects, and of course for service providers that offer Nextcloud to millions of users as an easy way to secure their data. Okay, all of this is available today, and we are continuously working on making updating and upgrading easier than ever before, for example, with our Nextcloud Docker all-in-one. Now, all of this is only possible because of all of you, the amazing Nextcloud community. And I'm incredibly grateful for all of you for the work you've done to help make this release possible. Thank you very much.